Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! So, uh, first of all I apologise for my voice, I have a cold at the moment so if I sound a bit weird and bunged up that's why. Um, so I'm bringing back the corner bookmarks! So I've had a, quite a few comments recently asking for some more corner bookmarks so as Halloween's around the corner I thought I'd bring them back with this lovely little pumpkin corner bookmark. So I hope you enjoy! So the first thing I'm going to do is take a sheet of A4 orange paper and then fold this in half and cut it in half with my nice pink scissors. Now if you've seen any of my other videos you will be very familiar with all of these steps coming up um, but if you haven't this is how to make a very basic corner bookmark. So when I've cut it in half I'm going to put one sheet to the side because I'm going to be using that later and then I'm going to take the other sheet and then I'm going to fold one of the bottom corners up to the top edge and then flatten down the fold and then take my scissors again and then cut off the excess piece. Uh, I won't be using this later so you can um, just put that to one side. And then I'm going to take the bottom corners and fold them up to the top point of the triangle. Good lord my voice really doesn't sound very good so I'm very blocked up at the moment. Um, so once I've folded them up I'm going to then unfold them and fold the top sheet of the top point down to the bottom edge and then flatten down the crease and then I'm going to fold the two points up and over and tuck them in and then fold them down to keep them out of the way. And then this is how you make a very basic corner bookmark. So now that's made I'm now going to take the other half of the paper that I put aside earlier and I'm going to take a roll of sellotape here because I found that this was actually the perfect size to use so um, if you have a standard roll of sellotape then that's fantastic, use it. What I'm going to do is just draw a circle around the inside of that over the excess piece of orange and then cut out that circle. So then I'm going to take my glue stick and then cover the back of this with glue and stick it down onto the back of the bookmark. Now this is my way of making the bookmark into a nice perfect circle. So once I've glued it on I'm going to trim away the pointy corners and I'm left with a lovely circular bookmark. Now, I mean you might have some new fancy way of folding it to make it a lovely circle. If you do please let me know because that would be brilliant. But I thought this was pretty clever myself. So um, I'm then taking my glue stick again and I'm just going to glue down the very edges of the, of the bookmark um, fold on the other side so that it sticks down and so that it can actually go onto the paper and be more solid. If you understood what I meant just then then that's brilliant but if not then you see what I mean from the video. So now that's all glued I'm going to take my pens so I've got black, brown, orange, pink and green at the moment and then what I'm going to do is take the brown and then I'm just going to draw on the um, the stem. Uh, is it called a stem? I'm not sure if you call it a stem on a pumpkin. But the top bit of the pumpkin and I'm just going to colour that in. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim away the little excess piece. And once that's gone I'm going to take my orange pen and I'm just going to draw one line down the centre and then two curved lines on either side of this, bending towards the outside. It's looking more like a pumpkin! And then what I'm going to do is make its little face. Now I've got to say this one came out slightly frightening, I made the eyes way too big and the smile a bit lopsided and, um, and massive but you know it's fine. It's still nice and cute. Um, this is sort of really a personal thing, I mean you can make them as small or as big as you want. Um, so just drawing on two eyes, a little smiley mouth and then last thing I'm going to do, well not quite last thing, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take my pink pen and draw on some little rosy cheeks. Then the last thing I'm going to do is take my green fine liner pen and give this little pumpkin a nice little ivy tiara. 
So I'm just drawing on some little vines and then drawing on some leaves. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it was quite nice. So I'm going to draw this all over the top and then the little pumpkin is complete. So that's how to make these lovely little pumpkin corner bookmarks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be bringing out a couple more Halloween corner bookmarks um, in the next couple of weeks. So look out for those. Thank you so much for commenting on my videos and subscribing. I really hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you have any more ideas that you'd like me to do, please let me know. And until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!